Hey everybody, Ben with Magic Plan here with part three of the Cloud Mini Series. This week we're gonna discuss workspaces and teams. So today I'm gonna to hop into the cloud and give you a brief overview of what this means and how you can utilize it in your day-to-day -day operations. So let's jump into the cloud. As usual, log in with your credentials at cloud.magicplan.app. Now, since we're talking about workspaces and teams, I think it's important to note that all accounts come default with a personal workspace. For me, that is benjamin.brown. If I wanna create a new workspace, I simply click the drop-down menu and click create a new workspace. I'll type in a name for that workspace and upon clicking create, I will be swapped into that workspace and I'll be able to get started doing things such as adding members, adding subscriptions, etc. Now for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to stay in my personal one and click on the members tab so I can show you what it looks like in this view. So as you can see, I have Benjamin Brown, that's me, the owner of the workspace at the top. My colleague Maria has also been invited and I've given her admin rights to my workspace. One important thing to note is that owners and admins have access to all projects that have been uploaded to a workspace. However, if you're not an owner or an admin, but just a normal member, you will only have access to the projects that you personally have uploaded to the workspace. If I wanna search through all of my team members, let's say I have 50 or 100 folks in here, I just click here and I can search by name. And if I wanna add or take away these admin rights, I find somebody, I click edit, and I can take them away in this situation, or I can add them if Maria wasn't already an admin. Please note, you can also remove folks from your workspace by clicking remove right here. Additionally, in the top right, you get an overview of all of the seats that you currently have available. Seats are another name for the amount of licenses that you've purchased for this workspace. So since I have 10 available, I can click invite member, type in emails, give them names and click continue. And they'll get an email where they can confirm that they would like to join the workspace. If I didn't have any seats available, upon typing this information in and clicking continue, I would be prompted to pay for the additional licenses that I need. Now, let's say you're a large organization and you want to have subsections within that organization for your US operations, your European operations, and your Pacific operations. You can create separate teams that have all of those individuals within the workspace divided up into smaller teams. This is also really useful if you want to send out an invite to a third party contractor because you can make it so they pay for their own license, but that they can collaborate with you on this team. Lastly, I wanna show the billing section. Here, you get a good overview of the license types, the cost, and here you can also revoke seats. And that will conclude the workspace and team section of the cloud. I hope you enjoyed the content that we showed you right there. Stay tuned for more updates regarding custom forms and price lists. We have a lot of exciting changes coming in that field and we really hope that you like it. Drop a comment below, let us know your feedback, and we look forward to speaking with you then. Have a great day.